Greetings and welcome to this brand new video. So since many of you asked me, here is the full guide to Misaka X. Misaka X is a completely free tool which you can easily get from its official GitHub page and it allows you to customize or tweak your iOS devices without a jailbreak. Yes, it works on all devices. You can see it right here according to the official GitHub page, iOS 16, iOS 17 and iOS 18 is supported depending on the features you select also please note that this video is only for educational and research purposes so please use the information responsibly also before you use misaka x make sure that you create a backup of your device's data so if in any case anything goes wrong you can always restore your device's data also, before you apply any changes to your device, make sure you turn off Find My iPhone if you use it. And after the changes or the customizations are applied, you can safely turn on Find My iPhone. Now to get Misaka X, you can see we have the latest releases here. Simply go to the latest release, scroll down and you can see it is both available for Mac OS and Windows. And this tutorial is for the Windows edition. So we will get the Windows edition.zip file to our PC first. As you can see, I already got this file. I will right click, then extract all, and I will get this folder. The very next thing which is required to run Misaka X is iTunes. So get iTunes from the official Apple's website. And if you installed it, from the Microsoft Store. Please uninstall it and install it from here from the official website. And for your ease, you can find the official link to iTunes at the GitHub page of Misaka X also. Once you get iTunes, please install it to your device. Next thing is Python, but as you can see it right here, Misaka X uses an embedded version of Python, so you do not need to install the full version of Python. But in any case, if you still prefer to install the full version of Python, you can visit the official website for Python, downloads all releases and get Python from here. Just make sure that when you install it, please check these two check boxes, first one and the second one, and then hit install now. Now, the next big requirement is this file, which you will only get from your specific device and now I will show you how you can get it. Also first of all as you can see the device we are working with is an iPhone 12 which is indeed on iOS 18. Now to get this file simply open Safari and head to the official website for Misaka X. Scroll down and you will find this shortcut. Simply hit it and then hit add shortcut here. You will see this shortcut in all shortcuts. Open it, hit allow, then select downloads, then hit open. All right. Now you can verify by going to files and you will simply find this file here. Now you can transfer this file to your PC using by emailing to yourself or using any online service. Once this file is transferred to your PC. Now you are good to go. Now please go ahead and open Misaka X. Make sure your device is connected via USB. Then first of all, select the file you just got. Simply point it towards the file. Hit open. And from here, you can see some features. If you check, we have the option to enable old photo UI and you can also enable the clock UI animation. You can also install Troll Store on your supported devices. As for the features, we will enable charge limit, always on display, and we can enable dynamic island. You can enable one of them, whichever suits your device. Also, you can check various options as to your liking. Once done, you can simply hit apply. Your device will reboot and you will see this prompt. Hit OK. Once the device turns back on, you can see I have the dynamic island. 
I have the all his own display working fine. And if I check battery, I have the charging limit here, which works fine. Also in display and brightness, you can see, I have the option to always on display. I can turn it off if I want. Now, if you want to revert the changes and get back to stock, it is easy. You can simply hit this reset button here. Your device will reboot. You'll see this prompt, hit OK. As you can see it right here, whenever you apply changes to your device and the process is complete, remember to turn find my iPhone back on. And here you can see my device is back on and it is back to stock with the changes reverted. Dynamic Island is gone, always on display is gone and the battery charging limit we selected is also back to stock. As you can see it right here, always on display is no longer available as we are back to stock. That's all for this video guys. If you still have questions, please ask in the comment section and I will reply you as soon as possible. I will see you in a new video. Goodbye and take care of yourself.